Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to NXT's Heatwave 2024 review. So, we are here, we are going to be watching this show. I'm actually kind of looking forward to this show. I think it's going to be an entertaining show. But in the band last night was good. There were a few things that annoyed me about that show, I'm not going to lie. Two 16 minute ladder matches is one of those things, but at the same time as I said in that review... But it was a, a bit safer to make it those and all that. So I kind of see the whole point in that. And the cash in just pissed me the fuck off. And I am done with the whole punk Drew Seth thing. I am done with it. So we have got uh, quite an interesting card for Heatwave. I think this could steal the show this weekend if I'm honest with you. So we have got Ka uh, Carmen, Patricia and Aria... Uh, Ariana Grace, I think that's how you say it, I could be wrong if not, versus JC James and Jasmine Minx. Uh, again, if I said those ones, I'm very sorry. So let's get to the matchup. So we just had the women's tag match, and yes, I will be taking off my uh, headphones. Uh, headphones? I will be taking off my uh, glasses every now and again, just so then I can sort that all out. And this match was entertaining. This was a fun matchup. I thought it was really good. Uh, and the uh, Ariana Grace t uh, Grace's team with uh, Carmen Pet uh, Petrovic. Petrovic, I think that's how you say it. Um, yeah, it was good. It was a fun matchup. You know, all four women were impressive. I thought, and it was a it was a good, solid pre-show matchup to get ready for Heat Wave coming up right now. So we have got Oba Femi uh, Oba. Oba, yes, Oba, Femi, uh, taking on Wesley for the North American Championship. But if Femi wins, Wesley can never challenge for the title as long as Femi is champion. So let's not waste any more time and get to our opening contest for NXT's Heat Wave. So we just had Oma, uh, Oba, Femi versus Wesley for the North American Championship. This was an entertaining matchup. Great way to open up the show, I thought. Uh, Oba Finney was the big powerhouse of the match for obvious reasons. Wesley was the plucky underdog, basically trying to get the win uh, to basically carry on, you know, challenging for the uh, North American Championship. Very fun matchup. Uh, Oba, uh, uh, Oba Finney wins with the uh, set out power bomb, uh, the, the Finney bomb, I believe it's called. I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, this was a really fun matchup. This was entertaining. It was well done. It was really, really good. And at the end of the day, again, great way to kick off the show, I thought. Really fucking good. So, we will see what our next matchup is going to be. But so far, you know, two matches in. Very entertaining. Let's carry on. So, we just had Kelly Jordan versus Sol Luca for the NXT Women's North American Championship. This was another entertaining matchup. First time seeing Kendall Jordan and Solo Luka. Uh, this was good. This was really entertaining. Uh, Jordan gets the win with the split moon Moonsault. And yeah, it was a really fun, entertaining matchup. So far, you know, NXT uh, Heatwave has been entertaining. I'm going to say that now. So we have got Nathan Frazier and Axiom taking on Chase U for the NXT Tag Team Titles. Let's get to that matchup. So we just had the NXT Tag Team Championship matchup of Nathan Frazier and Axiom taking on Chase U. I really enjoyed this matchup. I thought this was a really fun, entertaining matchup for the Tag Team titles. I've kind of noticed something as well. Bar the first matchup on the free show, every single match on the main card has been a title match. I've enjoyed that. I think this is a really good idea. I think having at least one show a year... Uh, well, a couple shows, just all title matches, I think is a good thing. I, it can be a bit tough, but I think NXT have pulled it off really well this time. I've actually been enjoying the show. I think the show, you know, from my last show, uh, from the last time I recorded uh, NXT, I'll have a link uh, here for the uh, last time I reviewed NXT. And if you missed my Money in the Bank review, it'll be here, uh, If you, in case you missed it. I really was annoyed by NXT. I'm not going to lie, because I know NXT can do a hell of a lot better. This time, they have not... They have... I have really enjoyed NXT. I really have enjoyed NXT. I think it's been a fun show. It's been entertaining. 
and I've enjoyed the matches, which is the main, which is the main thing. So we've got the semi-main event, which is what Sam Perez taking on Lola Vice. So let's not waste any more time and get to that matchup. So we just had our NXT Women's Championship matchup, Roxanne Perez taking on Lola Vice. This was entertaining. This was really well done as well. Uh, there was a little bit of a miscommunication between Roxanne and Lola, but bar that, this was a really fun matchup. It was entertaining as all hell. And surprisingly, Roxanne Perez gets the win. So, so far, all champions have retained their belts. Is Trip Williams going to retain his belt too? Maybe, but we do have a fatal four-way. It is Ethan Page, Sean Spears, and I believe... Give me two seconds. Let me just make sure I get this correct. Uh, Javon Evans in the main event. So, I have not seen Javon Evans before. Trip Williams is really entertaining, I'm not going to lie. Ethan Page is in NXT now. Holy fuck, that is a shocker. And Sean Spears is back in the WWE. So... It is all going to be fun. So, with that being said, this is going to be a fun Fatal 4-Way matchup. Now, what have I thought of the show in general? I have actually think, in my personal opinion, that this show is actually better than Money in the Bank. And there are a couple of reasons why. Number one, again, the two 16-minute ladder matches... Even though they are entertaining and they are good ladder matches, you need a minimum 20 minutes for a ladder match. You really do, in my opinion. The bullshit with Punk is now just getting annoying to me and it's just absolutely stupid. But there's always been a point of me that enjoyed NXT shows better because the NXT guys have a point to prove. And this show has actually been really enjoyable for me again since the last show that i really didn't like they've really pulled out all the stuff for tonight's show and i've been impressed by the matches i've really enjoyed them you know all you know championship matches it's been fun can we get another champions for nxt maybe you know and just like we have in wwe you know this is their version of another champions i think it's a good idea so yeah, let's get to our main event, and hopefully the main event will be a fun matchup. So, like I said, let's get to the main event. So we just we just had the fatal four way for the men's world title, and holy fuck, Ethan Page is the new NXT champion. Fucking shock horror! I did not expect that one. I will be honest with you, this was a fun fatal four way matchup, entertaining us all hell. I genuinely thought Trick Williams would win the match and retain and it'd be a clean sweep for the champions. But no, Ethan Page gets hit with a knee and um, Shard, uh, what's his name? Shard Evans um, basically gets hit with it as well. Ethan falls on him. One, two, three. We have a new champion. I, I actually liked it. I think Ethan Page is a really good wrestler. He's entertaining. He's charismatic as fuck. I ain't gonna lie. So Ethan winning it and becoming the new champ? Okay, yeah, I'm down with that. I am down with that being, you know, I'm down with him being the new champion. Hell yeah. Um, it was a knee from Trick Williams to get the pin for um, Ethan Page for the one, two, three. But still, okay, Ethan Page is the new NXT champion. Let's see where this one goes. Could be interesting. I don't know if it was a botch or not, but we'll see. You know, Trick looks pissed, but again, I don't think it is a botch. I think it's... It could be, it could not be. We don't know, but Ethan being the champ, we'll see where it goes with that. Sean, uh, Sean Spears is pissed, but yeah. I'm, I'm happy Ethan's the new NXT champion. I will say that. So again, what did I think of the show in general? It's a really good show. I think it's better than WWE's Money in the Bank. Just. But this was entertaining as all hell. And oh, Joe Hendry. Oh, Joe Hendry's just made a quick appearance uh, at the end of the show. Oh, okay. I like that. That was that was funny as fuck. I ain't gonna lie. If we could, if, if we could get Joe Hendry back in the NXT, fuck yeah. Joe Hendry versus Ethan Page for the title? Oh, I'm down for that. I'm down for that matchup. The NXT Championship on the line? Fuck yeah, I'm down for that. Anyway, 
awesome show. Let's get in, you know, I will see you next week, uh, possibly, but may be able to get a CWS out there if I can get some time during the week. So with that being said, thank you very much for watching me, and I will see you on the next episode of uh, the Wrestling Series. So take care, friends. Ta-ta for now.